everybody, and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the creator of the Ultimate Weight Loss Program, and each week I show you recipes from my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, which will help you achieve healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. Today, we are gonna be making the Dream of Tomato Soup Revisited on page 191. So let's get started. You know, anytime I have a soup, a stew, or a chili, I like to serve it over a grain. And so I'm going to be making one minute quinoa. And it's really easy to make quinoa if you have an electric pressure cooker, my favorite being the Instant Pot, which you can get a $10 discount if you use my name, AJ, on the company website, instantpot.com. I'm going to be using the three quart. It's one of my favorite models. I also have the six and the eight, but the three and the eight are probably my favorite. The three is small enough for travel and it doesn't take up so much room on the counter, but it does a lot. And the eight is great for making large batches of soups and stews. And I showed it to you on episode 76 and 77 of Weight Loss Wednesday when I made the cauliflower bisque and the black bean mushroom chili. So I'm using the organic sprouted tricolor quinoa just because I like the tricolor. I think it's pretty and sprouting has additional health benefits and I love that it's organic. You can get this at Trader Joe's, but I've also seen it at other health food stores and places like Whole Foods. And the best way to rinse quinoa I have found is in a paint straining bag. You can get these at any paint store. They're about 99 cents. You just want to make sure you get one that has not yet been used for paint. These are also great for squeezing out the water in defrosted spinach or kale. Like if you're making my lasagna from the, my book Unprocessed on page 100, it's just a really easy way to squeeze out frozen greens. And it's also great for making your own plant milk, like almond milk, but I using this, or I did use it to soak it, and you want to soak your quinoa, or rinse your quinoa, that is, because it has a toxin on the outer coating. I believe it's called saponin, but you know you can actually buy pre-rinsed quinoa. So my ratio for quinoa, it's not my ratio, it's in all the pressure cooking cookbooks. It's a little different when you do it in the Instant Pot than when you do it on the stove. It's every cup of quinoa, one and a half cups of water, or no sodium vegetable broth. I've already put the water in the pressure cooker just to get it heated up so it will take less time. If you start with boiling water, it takes less time. So I'm just gonna dump this in. Oops, and I got half of it on the counter. That's not what I wanted to happen, but that's showbiz. So now I'm just gonna push the button for pressure cook one minute and you'll see it'll be ready very very quickly it won't it won't take exactly one minute it'll take one minute from when it comes up to pressure and then i usually like to let my grains rest at least 10 minutes for quinoa it's a very fast cooking grain even on the stove but it's even faster on the pressure cooker now before i get to the soup recipe i want to answer a question that came from pam and it's a really good question she said can you recommend some staple items to buy starting for me when I start my ultimate weight loss journey. And I certainly can, and actually I do discuss how to set up your kitchen and how to start your own ultimate weight loss program in chapter three of my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss. And on page 60, I specifically mentioned what to buy. What's as important as what to buy, Pam, is what you need to get rid of from your kitchen and your environment, things that are gonna derail your health and weight loss goal, any non-compliant foods, specifically if you're someone who suffers from food addiction, sugar, oil, flour, alcohol, and salt. We recommend all the junk food get out of the house, all the animal products. If you live with somebody that isn't following this way of eating, either ask them to please respect you and your journey and the fact that you have a disease of refined food addiction and to eat all non-compliant foods out of the home or at a very minimum get their own locked food safe and refrigerator which is very affordable that's what a lot of the successful people in the ultimate weight loss programs have done to coexist with people that are still suffering from food addiction that they're living with so you know a lot of the things that you are using now, if you're somebody that cooks regularly, like for instance, spices, well, you can keep those. And as long as they don't have salt, I mean, any spice you're using, you can certainly keep using. The ones that I really recommend people get if they're doing the Ultimate Weight Loss Program is a really good salt-free seasoning. My favorite is Benson's Table Tasty. It's the only one that I think really does taste like salt. 
It's available at bensonsgourmetseasonings.com. If you come to the Live Vegas conference, Debbie Benson will be there with her entire line. You can taste every flavor, but my very favorite is the Table Tasty. It tastes like salt. And I believe if you send a dollar to her, you can get a free sample. And if you use my name, Chef Asia, you can get 10% off your order. So you want to have some really good salt-free seasonings. A lot of people like the Kirkland seasoning from Costco. There's a lot of Mrs. Dash seasonings that are salt-free. There's just a lot of seasonings. If you look at, at just regular grocery stores even so whatever you like I always recommend you get some good quality vinegar since you're not using oil and, and, and of course it's great you can make your own salad dressings with with lots of recipes recipes from my book I have a delicious balsamic based dressing called barefoot dressing Kathy Hester contributed an amazing outrageous ranch dressing to the book but a lot of us just use flavored vinegars and they don't have sugar they're made just from grapes and there's many wonderful companies out there depending on where you live we're big fans of Bima and Paz, bimanpa.com. Again, 10% off with Chef AJ. She has a lot of fruity flavors, my favorite being grapefruit, but a lot of really savory ones like smoke-infused garlic cilantro, white garlic habanero. A lot of people, their favorite is sesame ginger. So those are things we recommend you put in. I also have several free webinars on my website or my YouTube page, Chef AJ, which I'd love for you to subscribe to. You might even be watching this video on my YouTube page where I show how I cook for the week and what I eat for the day. Because the most important thing is really to learn how to batch cook. And so keeping your starches always available. So in other words, you're gonna be cooking large trays, several trays, depending on how many people in your family or how much you eat, of either potatoes or sweet potatoes or winter squashes like kabocha, acorn, hubbard, butternut, delicata, so that you always have some good quality, low calorie, dense, nutritious starches available. And you always want to have grains available if you eat grains. Not everyone does, but there's a lot of quote, pseudo grains, like for example, quinoa, that's actually a seed, wild rice, which is technically a, a grass, buckwheat, you don't, and necessarily some people don't want to eat rice, that's fine, if you do, I love black, white, red, brown, texmati is my favorite, so you want to make sure that you have grains both already cooked, so that you have some in your refrigerator, you want to have some frozen, and you can buy delicious quinoa and rice already organic, already frozen, microwavable, and in three minutes you can get it at Whole Foods, at your local Kroger's they have it, at, at uh, Trader Joe's. So you want to have some in your fridge, some in your freezer, some in your tummy. You can even have some on your shelf so you can do the, your bulk shopping. You can get grains I, here in LA, I've seen them as low as 49 cents a pound depending on where you shop and whether or not you want exclusively organic. And you can buy aseptic packages of rice and quinoa now that's already cooked that you could just eat at room temperature or microwave. And again, legumes, same thing. You wanna have some beans in the refrigerator, you wanna have some in the freezer, and you wanna have some in the cabinet, both dried beans or lentils, any kind of legume. And you wanna have even some emergency cans of salt-free beans or the ones in aseptic cartons. With fruit, you know, fruits and vegetables that you do have to eat them after a few days or they could go bad, but you can certainly buy frozen organic fruits and vegetables. Costco has a huge variety. So you wanna have some in your freezer. You wanna have some fresh. Not such a big fan of canned fruit unless it's completely in its own juice. I do at least here, oops, that means it's already come up to pressure. You see how fast that was? So things like pineapple, peaches, pears, uh, these are things that I've seen in their own juice, but not, not a huge fan of cans, except for like emergencies, things like that. So you got, got your spices, you got your fruits, your vegetables, your whole grains, legumes, your starchy vegetables, and uh, maybe some nuts. Not Well, if you're doing the Ultimate Weight Loss Program and nuts are a trigger, you don't want to have nuts in your house, but maybe some seeds like black seeds or chia seeds. Uh, if you've already ground them, you want to keep them in the freezer. And then maybe for emergency, some plant milk. It's really easy to make your own. I've showed you on several of these videos how, but there's nothing wrong with having a oil, a, the an, not a, I don't have very good English skills today, an oil-free version of a plant milk. Most of them will have salt, but I think that's fine to have some you know, on hand for emergencies, if you will. So did I forget anything to eat? And that's kind of what we eat, just anything to the left of the red line. And you know, you might want to try some new spices, for example. Oh, greens. It's, well, that would be their vegetables. You definitely want some frozen greens, some fresh greens. You might want to have some dehydrated things. If you're somebody that travels a lot, I don't recommend dehydrated foods. If you are in the active weight loss phase, 
phase or if they're a, a, a trigger for you because the water's been removed, it's very easy to overeat on them. But I always have some starch cookies in my cabinet. I always got some mill oat muffins in my freezer, things like that. And uh, try to uh, learn new spices and fresh herbs as well. You know, I never knew about smoked paprika or chipotle powder until I went salt-free, and those are probably the two most important spices in salt-free cooking, which I'm gonna be using both today. So the quinoa is ready. Let's get started with the recipe. So the reason the recipe on page 191 is called Dream of Tomato Revisited is because in my first book, Unprocessed, I had a very popular recipe that I used to make in my monthly cooking classes called Dream of Tomato Soup. The idea was is to make it kind of like the Campbell's cream of tomato soup that I grew up eating with a half a grilled cheese sandwich when I was little without all the dairy and all the other salt and things that go into canned soup. So what I did is I used a cup of hemp seeds, which are certainly nutritious, high in omega-3 fatty acids, but it was very, very high in fat. My co-writer Glenn Merzer and I are in the process of revising my first book, Unprocessed, but what I noticed is that a lot of the recipes in Unprocessed, there's 109, and half of them are already compliant with the UWL program, that they could be made compliant by taking out the nuts and substituting beans. So instead of using nuts, using things like white beans or maybe even garbanzo beans, you were, we were able to have just as delicious of a taste and mouthfeel without all the fat. Well then what happened in about 2000 and was it 12 or so when I started coaching people individually, one of my first clients was born with an allergy to all legumes, to beans, split peas, peas, lentils, and anaphylactic ones. She actually carries an EpiPen. So a lot of the recipes that I started substituting beans for, now she couldn't eat. So I had to think of another way to do it, to get that mouthfeel, to get that richness, now that I wasn't using nuts and seeds or beans for her. And I found that using some steamed cauliflower, either by itself, or with just a small amount of the Yukon Gold or a Yukon Gold-like potato does the trick. And so I'm doing it with this version because anytime I can get more vegetables into my food, I'm gonna do it. And I just cooked this for five minutes in the Instant Pot and drained it. So we're gonna be using the Vitamix, a high-powered blender. You don't have to have a high-powered blender, but because we wanna make this soup hot without turning the stove on, we're using a high powered blender. So I'm using Roma tomatoes, but you really could use any kind of tomato you want. And then I'm adding my lemon juice. And then I'm just gonna blend this, even though a Vitamix can take everything all at once, I know that not everybody has a high powered blender, so this is how you would do it if you did. You would put your tomatoes in first and your liquid. Oops, turn it on. and pureed and then I'm going to add my red bell pepper. You always want to add the more watery things first just to get it going. And I'm going to add, whoops, making a mess. We're losing valuable soup, too, doing that. I am the messy chef. If you guys really knew what this kitchen looked like when I'm not filming, you would be very much shocked. Then my cooked vegetables. And then my sun-dried tomatoes. You can find these that are sulfite-free without added salt or oil in many stores, including Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and even Kroger. My fresh basil my garlic and spices. And again, this recipe is on page 191. Now, in my book, I did not put smoked paprika in the recipe, but it was so successful adding that to the cauliflower bisque, episode 76, that I'm gonna just start putting it in every soup recipe. So now I'm gonna blend everything together. <laughs> soup is done. It's not warm yet. We're going to need to run the blender for about three minutes to get it warm. So to spare your ears, we're going to come back and show you what it looks like when it's warm. So we ran the blender for about three minutes and look, can you guys see the steam? 
piping hot soup without ever turning on your stove or dirtying a pan. So before we serve it, I wanna show you a, a, a great way to serve it. Now, you notice in this bowl, I have the inside, the scraps of the red bell pepper. I'm not gonna throw these away. I have a scrap bag, a one gallon freezer Ziploc bag in my freezer, and when it's full, I'm gonna make broth, and you're actually gonna see in an upcoming episode of Weight Loss Wednesday, where J.L. Fields, who contributed the recipe to my book, is going to make it. Now, I have a great way to serve this soup. Of course, it's gonna be delicious over the quinoa, when it's all, which is already ready, but any way I can incorporate more vegetables, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna show you a really easy way to spiralize zucchini, so it's gonna be like pasta, and this'll be like a nice, marinara sauce on top that you made from the blender. Now, when something's organic, I don't peel it. I just wash this because there's fiber and nutrients in the skin. But if you're serving this to somebody who doesn't yet eat healthy, you might want to peel it because then it will be white instead of green. And again, I'm going to save these zucchini peels and that is going to go in my scrap bag for when I make broth, which I'd show to you, but it's in the freezer. So you can use really any color zucchini you want. And like I say, when I do this for myself, I don't peel it. But if I'm making it for people that do not yet eat healthy, I do. And I gotta tell you, I was making this dish once at a demonstration in a small town in Ohio, and the city commissioner came and he came late. So he didn't see me making it. And when you put the hot sauce on the cold zucchini, it actually wilts it. And he actually thought it was real pasta. He even asked what kind of pasta it was. Now, another thing you can do, even if you do eat pasta, let's say you are eating flour products, you're not following ultimate weight loss, nothing wrong with that. You can still add Add some spiralized zucchini to your cooked pasta dish just to bump the nutrition. You could even blanch these zucchini noodles, which are also called zoodles, very quickly. And now you can get these already spiralized. They, I've seen them at Costco, I've seen them at Whole Foods, I've seen them at Ralph's, which is owned by Kroger's. They're more expensive when you don't do it yourself, but you see I'm kind of going a little bit down just to get rid of all the green so that this will look white. Now the spiralizer I'm gonna show you was $20 at Bed Bath & Beyond. I also have an Oster one, which is electric, which costs $50. And they have more, more in, inexpensive ones at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't recommend the really, really cheap ones because I have found, at least in my hands-on classes, that some of those really small, cheap ones uh, students often cut themselves, so you can go as uh, expensive or as inexpensive as you want. Some of the Cuisine Art food processors, especially the one at Costco, has a built-in spiralizer feature, so there we go. I probably should have done that before, it's just so you guys didn't have to wait and wash that. That was probably really boring, so I'll save that. And now, this one comes with three blades. It comes with a large blade, which is like if you're making quote, paparadelli pasta, long, thin ribbons, which you could use for, for uh, lasagnas. And then it comes with a large one, and it comes with the smaller one, which is what I'm gonna be using. You just slide it in, and then this is kind of a long piece of zucchini, so I'm gonna cut it in half, and put my bowl right there. And I am right-handed, so I'm gonna have to turn this around. See, it's got these suction cups that are really strong. You can see it sticking to the counter. Sorry, even though I gotta go this way, I forgot I'm right-handed. So I'll have to shoot over my shoulder. And then you, all you do is you stick it on this little thing here, and then you just crank it, crank it, crank it. And I don't know if you can see over here, but it does really look like pasta. And they have, uh, Joyce Chen makes a spiralizer where you could actually do angel hair pasta if you wanted, or angel hair zoodles that is. And you can spiralize other things, beets, butternut squash, sweet potatoes, parsnips, turnips, so pretty much anything that would fit on this. So there we go, boom, 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 all right. And now we'll just put it in a bowl. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Maybe we should do the other one, but this will be enough for eating to taste. You know, I always tell people that uh, men especially, one of the best reasons to follow a plant-based diet, they say vegan is the new Viagra, because if you follow a plant-based diet, you'll be like this. If you follow an animal-based or sad diet, ooh, this is what happens. So it's true. I would eat that right now, but that would be highly inappropriate. So what we're gonna do, 
cook is we're just going to serve it like this. We're going to put this delicious sauce or soup actually, but we're using it as a sauce right now on top. And again, it's like having pasta then. But this soup is good as a standalone. Look at that. Now, I showed you how to make enlightened faux parmesan in episode 77. That would be fantastic on here. As a matter of fact, I happen to have a little bit left in my refrigerator, I believe. Where is it? Well, maybe. Oh, here it is. I always keep, I, when I say I do stuff, I really do. I always keep a little bit in my fridge of the mm. enlightened faux parmesan. And this is so, so good. So there too. we go. So. There you have it, page 191, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, Dream of Tomato Soup Revisited. I hope you enjoy. I'm Chef AJ, thank you for watching, and I truly believe you can have both the health and the body you so richly deserve. And I make healthy taste delicious. Bye.